Let's do some more. Uh, unfortunately, I think that's going to be the last time I say that, at least in relation to these uh, videos. These are the last two challenges. We've otherwise completed all of them. Uh, so let's check out the last two that I have. This one, Wild Rose, assassinate Penelope by pushing her into the slurry pit. And cleaning up, assassinate Sean by drowning him in the water basin. Uh, I've said pretty much the entire time that I, I'm going to be dreading these. And especially the five minutes that it takes for Sean to get back to the house, but I was trying to think of a way to, to fill that time, and I think I found a way to do it. Uh, it, it should be pretty cool. It should be pretty funny. Um, anyway, that is the plan for today. I'm not going to ruin what the surprise is. I guess you'll just have to wait for it. Um, that's the plan for today. Let's get it set up. Let's bring the silver baller. Uh, let's start at the greenhouse. Let's bring the crystal ball. Leave the coins where they are, and I'm going to smuggle the emetic syringe to the truck loading area. Uh, I said that was probably the last time you would hear me say the phrase, let's do some more, but I was watching the old ones back, and man, they, at one point, they looked and sounded horrible, so I can't say that I wouldn't mind doing some of them over again, just to to get the, the video quality and the audio quality better. It, it's taken me a while to learn how to use this gear. Every time I get a new microphone, it takes me a while to, to learn how to get the tone I want. Or uh, Since gotten better lighting for the, the video stuff, so I don't know. Maybe I'll do some of them over again just for better video and audio quality. Uh, no promises. We'll see. Um, anyway, that's a setup. Uh, here we go. And that is the last time I'm going to say that, too. And I, I think I'm going to cry. I was going to say that I didn't spend too much time practicing this one, and that is totally evident because it's doing nothing but failing. It is not a hard strategy, it's just not cooperating. Okay, I was going to allow myself to have fun with this one today. Since, since it's the last video, it's going to be a long video, and the strategy is not difficult, it's just not working. Uh, I need the Interpol badge, and this guy has it, so the Interpol badge is how you get Penelope to the slurry pit. That was a legend of snow throw. I don't even mean to do that. I just didn't want to David Blaine him so that it alerted the other guys. But let's hope that... Yeah, yeah, I was going to say, let's hope the game gave me the coin back. It did. It hasn't been. I, I need this spare coin. I need a disguise to get into the house, and this guy is a good candidate for that. He is isolated, and he is up against these boxes. Easy knockout, easy disguise. Uh, let's grab the gun and get that out of the way so Ezra doesn't see it. Let's get his body in the box. And let's slow Ezra down with a coin here. He's on his way up the stairs from the basement. I will explain why I'm trying to slow him down in a little bit. I dropped another one for him on the on his way too, so he should stop to pick up both of those. Here's Penelope. Let's show her the badge, and that's all you have to do. She will now continue on to the slurry pit on her own. So while I'm here, let's take out the evidence. Same trick I showed you guys the other day. And also while I'm here, let's take care of the first of Sean's OCD triggers. Now, the reason I won't want to slow Ezra down is because right, I intend to kill him with a lawnmower. And if he was already at the lawnmower right now and I shot the lawnmower, then Penelope's a little too close and she would have locked down and that would have uh, delayed her. I don't even know if she would have continued to the slurry pit after that. I didn't really test that, but it certainly would have interfered with her going to the slurry pit if she heard an explosion and got locked down. So that is why I'm yeah. trying to slow Ezra down. More phase gland practice today. Oh God. I just actually did one shot the shit out of it today because the gun I have to my now is, is much more accurate than the Kruger I used uh, for one of the last videos. But I used the same trick. But slow Ezra down one more time. Thanks. And now it is up to the second of Sean's OCD triggers. We figured out that there are three triggers, but you only need to um, tamper with two of them to make him go to the backyard. There, it, there is the clock, there is this water valve, and there are the pencils in his room. But I'm going to skip the pencils because a little too... Um, too much of a pain in the ass to, as you can see, there are two enforcers in there. It is a pain in the ass to get in and out of there, so. 
the other two are much easier to get to. Now, I just blew up the lawnmower. I didn't. I don't know if I trust myself to know where the hitbox is to uh, just shoot it once and just let it go. Uh, let's make this guy sick. Start the printer. Let's see where the enforcer is. Hopefully he doesn't stop there. I think he'll continue. I want to bump into that guy before he makes his way to the printer. Okay, let's bump into him. Turn this guy around. Um, sir, uh, I think that might be yours. You motherfucker. Okay, so you dropped something. He didn't see that. That was pretty awesome. Guess that was today's excitement. I didn't expect that guy to ignore the coin, but I did what I had to do there, and now I'm totally behind. And this is exactly why... Or it's reasons like this that are making the strategy fail. I picked up everything. Wow, this is a, almost a clusterfuck, so I don't know how this is going to work out right now. Like I said, I didn't practice too much, so a lot of this will be improv, depending on what happens. I have a plan, I just... It's not exactly cooperating. Let's see where these guys are. Uh, let's drop a gun for him and get him out of the way. I'm going to drop another gun for him in just a little bit, but let's get Penelope moving first. Miss Graves, you are being recruited back into Interpol. This might be the solution for this timing problem. The timing of this was getting me caught, too. So Who are you anyway? Kind of improving here, too. That is not important. Think about this carefully. You have to endure this conversation for her to move outside. If you cooperate, the agency will overlook your unfortunate transgression. He is taking the gun away. I'm going to leave the other gun for him by the time he gets back, so he, I will send, try to send him away twice. Might prove unhealthy. I'll give you a few moments to think about it. Good work, 40. Okay, once you hear Diana, then that means the conversation is over. Let's try to keep... Uh, this guy here pissing. He, even though he's taking a piss, that is an idle animation. I've shown you guys that if you interrupt somebody during an idle animation, then uh, once they're done being interrupted, they should go right back to it. So the guy who took the silver ball away is coming back. He should see that gun. He does. Let's interrupt this guy one more time, and that'll just keep his back turned. Who left that weapon there? Hopefully for long enough so that I can push Penelope without getting seen. Think, Graves. Sorry if my commentary is all over the place today. I'm, so I'm being forced into improv situations. Okay. LP is done. Graves is done. Excellent. Picked up the hallucinogenic drugs earlier. I'm gonna go spike Sean's cigarettes with that. And that should take care of the opportunity that. Uh, m moves him to the backyard. He is getting to the house now. He is going to have to discover that there's something wrong with the clock, discover that there's something wrong with the water when he tries to wash his hands, and then... Once those things are done, then he should... Head out here. This is the only guy who can see me spiking the cigarettes at this point, so let's get him out of the way. Have him go for that coin, and I shouldn't leave these unseen. One last thing I want to take care of. Let's get the guy in the basement out of the way so that we can run straight down to the basement after Sean dies. Oh. I didn't get the key. Is that it? Yeah, that's it right there. Lucky it didn't go flying with the explosion somewhere, but not a big deal. What the hell is that? Whoa, enforcer. <laughs> little things can fail all over the place, which is why this video has been a pain. Oh, shit. Exactly, he has to be here. He, he can be a pain in the ass, too, because when he's in front of the mirror like that, he can start pirouetting and taking selfies and... He can see you pretty easily up there. The game is just fucking with me again. <laughs> but that is the last thing I to really be done. A 
of any significance before Sean makes his way outside. Watch me run straight into an enforcer right here. Uh, like I said, I do have something special planned for you guys to I'm um, gonna make the waiting time a little more tolerable. I still, still have like five minutes before he ends up going in there, so uh, let's take care of that now. You are seeing a dancing cat and a duck eating a pizza. This is not the magic of television. Uh, this is not an edit. This is me recreating uh, 40 videos worth of, of entertainment <laughs> right before your eyes. Sorry, I thought I was going to sneeze. Let's do some more. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy CJ coming at you with another video. All right, let's do some more. King of Sweden here. Let's do some things in addition to the things we've done already. Say it, CJ. I just did say it. Go fuck yourself. We're only doing one today, so go fuck yourselves. You are not seeing any of this. You are not seeing a dancing cat. You are on drugs. I caught you. And he is not wearing a baseball cap or a sports jersey, and he is not dancing in front of a turntable pretending to be a DJ. I'm staging an intervention. I am telling your mother. You are going to rehab. I am grounding you for eight years. I don't know you. How are you, sir? Hey, you. Hey, you. I don't know you. I don't know you. I'd like to be able to start when I want to, please. You can start when you want to. You can leave your friends behind. Because your friends don't dance, and if they don't dance, well, they're no friends of mine. Where did that come from? Jesus Christ. Hey, you seen Ramon? No? <laughs> Have you seen Ramon? Have you seen Ramon? I didn't mean to uh, have an inner homosexual in me. I just meant it just triggers me to start imitating them. <laughs> mess with the heat to kill Yuki with the pushy. Don't mess with the heat to kill Yuki with the sushi. <laughs> and keep him near the box so I can give him the old chocorino. The old chocorino is mine, Munga. Don't even think about it. People new to my channel are probably like, what the hell are you talking about, Franny DeSani? Yuki Suzuki, Funguki Daruki with Fugu Poison Sushi. <laughs> People are like, what the hell does Tom Jones have to do with anything? But Tom Jones has to do with everything. It's not unusual to have fun with anyone. Oh yeah! This is CJ and I'm out. 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 See ya! All right, there's Sean. He is on his way uh, out to his smokes. He should ingest those hallucinogens, and I would venture to guess that Sean is about to start seeing dancing cats and a duck eating a pizza. <laughs> uh, Sean is about to trip some balls. Try it. That's close. Try it. I hope that enforcer stays away so I can actually watch this. Uh, Sean is a drama queen. He does take a while to actually bug out. Strong. 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 Sturdy. Symmetrical. Come on, Sean, you can do it. You got this enforcer over here, too. You can do it. I don't feel. No, no, that's not right. There you go. I don't even have half my headphones on, so I can't even hear him. No, 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 no. Sean, you don't happen to see a, a dancing cat and a duck eating a pizza, do you? I'm just curious, because I think a lot of people are. Are, are seeing those things right now. This is, this is They're bad. doing too, ma too many drugs, too. They have problems just like you. And they also need to go to rehab. <laughs> oh, God. They're everywhere. Oh, get them off. Get Let's head in here so I don't... Sometimes I get the... Uh, the, the drown prompt a little too early when I'm trying to close the door and I actually get caught, but... I think we should be good here. All right, there is a swirling. There is the last kill for the promo challenge series, and now it's just to the exit. That'll be that. And I am sad face right now. I kind of don't want to hit this exit prompt. I do have to make sure we get into the basement quickly, because... That enforcer who leaves Sean's room as soon as he dies is on his way down. And I don't want to run into him. So it's probably a good idea to have taken, unlocked the door and taken the guy out here down early. Uh, there's one prompt. There's a second prompt. And again, I don't want to hit this because I'm going to cry. Mm -hmm. Fuck it. All 
right? How would we do? Skip the cutscene. Uh, there are both challenges, and let's check out the rating. So, <laughs> it didn't take 15 minutes like I expected it to, but it, it took a good amount of time. And a lot of that time was waiting, and I will probably edit some of that out, but at least I have something, something to show you guys uh, in lieu of the edit. In, instead of just a dancing cat and a duck eating a pizza, that, I had a lot of fun putting that together, and I didn't laugh well, well, a lot while I tried to throw it together. Some good times, but the end of an era, but we move onward. I still don't know what I'm going to uh, work on next. I will continue doing the blood money stuff because that stuff is a lot of fun. And I think uh, you guys seem to enjoy it also. Still a lot of Blood Money fans out there, even 10 years later, 11 years later. Uh, so I will continue with that. And then who knows? Uh, you guys have suggested Metal Gear Solid. I'm not sure about that. I don't know that I'd be able to offer anything valuable to a Metal Gear Solid playthrough. I don't know the series that well. I've played it. I've played a lot of it, but um, certainly not to the extent that I know these games. We'll figure out something. Maybe it'll even be more with this particular game, but honestly, I am I'm not gonna say I've had it with this one, but I am getting a little burnt on it, so I think it should probably be time to start thinking about something else, at least. But anyway, I had a lot of fun doing the entire series. I hope you guys learned something. I certainly learned a lot. It's one thing to know how to, how to uh, play and how the game works, but it is, an entirely different thing to try to think about it in terms of how to explain it uh, to somebody else. So I hope I did an all right job at that. And then if you learn something, then I'm happy. Um, anyway, that is that. That is it for the Pro Mode series. Thank you for watching. Uh, thank you for uh, sticking with me the entire thing. Uh, I appreciate that. Thanks for watching. This is CJ and I'm out. See ya! It's also the last time I will do that for, for uh, this series, too. Now I'm really going to cry. Um, no more let's do some more. No more see us. No more dancing cats. No more ducks eating a pizza. No more Jimmy Dean. No more Hawaiian Punch. <laughs> what is that from? Well, that's from Gung Ho. No more Twisted Sister. He says a whole bunch of things. No more frozen niblets. That is a funny movie. Yeah, I'm just babbling just so that this video just goes on a little longer. <laughs> and I don't have to end it because I don't want to. But I think it's about that time.